Canadian Naturals to bring you this video which is all about the natural hair scene in Canada. Here in Ottawa, natural hair is definitely not the norm. Back in 2009 when I studied my hair journey, uh, there was very few naturals around me and very, very few natural resources around me. So thank goodness for Google. I went online, did all of my research, um, but most of the information and most of the resources that I found, they were in the States. That includes getting hair products, hair event, natural hair shows, all of that only happened in the States. Like there was nothing happening where I was. The very few natural communities that I found back then, they were all in Toronto. I was pretty jealous. You know, I wanted to go to the hair shows and meet other naturals and just communicate with other women that was going through the same transition that I was going through, but everything basically happened online. Things have slightly changed around here now. Um, there are more women accepting their natural hair, accepting their beauty, just deciding to wear the natural hair, but we're not quite there yet. So have a long way to go, especially here in Ottawa. Natural hair isn't as accepted as it should be and I would even get people that I don't even know who will come up to me and be like, why do you wear your hair like that? It would be so pretty if you straightened it. If you live in Ottawa, a lot of the beauty supplies don't carry natural hairlines, although now it is getting better. Now I do see the kinky curlies, the Shea Moisters, although it's very, very expensive, at least it's available. So the three main salons, and now there's a fourth one that just opened up, I just recently found out. It's Valency Tropics, Grace Ottawa, and Miami Beauty Supplies. I just found out about that one. I feel like they're very basic. They don't actually have a lot of variety in terms of natural hair care. A lot of their products, it's still, you know, the typical hair products with petroleum and mineral oil and all of that. Um, a lot of the natural hair products and natural hair brands that are available in the States are not available here in Ottawa. It's very hard to find them. Also, uh, there are not a lot of natural hair salon that are catered to kinky curly hair. Other than Mama C, I don't think I can think of any other hair salon that offers services to kinky curly hair. I know I've gone to a few salons myself uh, a few years ago and they would either not touch my hair if it's in its curly state or they just don't even know what to do with it. There aren't a lot of uh, yearly events here in Ottawa either. If you want to go to a natural hair show, you would either have to go to Montreal or Toronto. There's so much more that Ottawa still has to do in terms of natural hair. One of the trends that I've noticed in all of the beauty supplies I've gone to is there's a massive amount of skin lightening products. It's almost sad because if you don't accept yourself and who you are, your skin color, how can you accept your hair? I hope that things will continue to change in the future, that there will be more resources available in Ottawa, and that more people are able to just accept themselves for who they are. I hope you enjoy hanging out with me. I hope you learn a little bit more about Ottawa. Thanks for watching. Bye. Check out these other naturals to find out more about the hair scene in Canada, and I will see you next time.